So you want to make a USB bootable drive with lots of operating systems. Many popular operating systems like Windows 11, Windows 10, Linux, Chrome OS, Ubuntu, Mac OS, Windows XP, Windows Vista and there are many more operating systems. Let me tell you this is totally possible. Today in this video I'm going to show you how you can make a multi bootable USB drive that can able to install any operating system onto your PC. And not just a single operating system, you can dual boot, you can triple boot and do any sort of a multi boot setup. This USB drive can able to hold any amount of ISOs in a single drive. So without a further ado, let's see how we can make a multi bootable USB drive. Right after this message from our sponsor, Software Keep is a Microsoft certified gold partner. Software Keep is one stop shop for 100% genuine Microsoft softwares and keys. And whether you need Microsoft Office, 2019, 2021, Microsoft 365, Windows 10 or Windows 11 or antivirus for your PC and Mac, well they got all of your needs. They offer products ranging from individual user to enterprise licenses. And with the estimated delivery time less than 15 minutes, it's lightning fast. And with their 24-7 365 customer support from a real person, you can get clear instructions on how to solve your problem, tips and tricks from their online chat. You can ask anything related Related to their products and you'll get help instantly. All purchases that you do are safe and secure. You know, why buy cheap keys from untrustworthy source when Software Keep has got Microsoft trusted products for a great discount? Customer support is their top priority and that's why they got over 100k plus customers with 5 stars review. Make sure to check out Software Keep. Links are given in the description below. To get special discount, use coupon code STG20 at the checkout. The tool I'm going to show you today is a Ventoy. If you google it, you'll land onto this page. It's basically the bootable USB solution for all of your problems. It's open source project and very simple and easy to use. And whether you got legacy or UFI BIOS, both are supported. Once you load it up with multiple operating system, you'll get a list like this. So you can choose to decide which operating system to install in your PC. Here we will head over to the download section. Here they got three options, first one is Windows Zip, then we got tar.gz and this is a ISO as well. Let me tell you, the first one Windows Zip is a very easy option so let me head over there. And here into the GitHub, you can see into the releases, you have to download this windows.zip file. And once you do that, you need to extract the files. To extract the files, simply right click onto it and then extract all. Once you extracted the file, go into the folder and here you got the application. Locate this Ventoy to disk and open it up by double clicking on it. Here into this prompt, into the more information, run anyway. And now the fun part begins. Now that we have opened up the Ventoy program, let me guide you how you can set it up. Over here in the devices, you can plug in your USB drive and select that one. Make sure your drive doesn't have any important data on it because you are going to make a multi bootable USB drive. Over here in the options, you got bunch of options. Things for example is secure boot support. You can enable that one. This is very useful if your system requires it. Then next one we got partition style which is MBR or GPT. According to your system needs, you can choose MBR or GPT. By the way, MBR is set by default because it supports most of the systems. Next one you got partition configuration. You can align your partitions according to your needs. And last one you got bunch of languages. But that's just for the Ventoy tool itself. That's not gonna change in your OS. Now before we click onto the install, make sure you have backed up your drive. This multi bootable drive will be dedicated to it. So make sure you don't have any important data on it. Now I plugged in the drive to my system, then select it over here and then click on install. And boom, there you go. You got your Ventai successfully installed onto the device. Now the next step is very simple. We need to just add the ISOs over here. And let me show you how you can do that. First, you can get the ISOs from their official sources. For example, let's say I need to download the Windows, Linux or any OS. Below that like button, I have given all the links in the description below where you can find all the operating systems. So first of all, I will download Windows 11 ISO. Here onto the Microsoft page, you can see the download links. Right over here, into the download Windows 11 disk image ISO, you can select your Windows 11 ISO, confirm your language and the version and there it is, you got the 64-bit Windows 11 ISO. Second one, I will download the Ubuntu. Here onto their page, go into the download section, 
then go into the latest version of it there it is just click on the download link and you got the ubuntu right there next one let's try windows 8.1 iso and that's pretty easy just select the version of windows select whatever bit version you want whether you want 32 or 64 bit and download it now we will download windows 10 disk image as well for Windows 10, first of all you need to download this Windows 10 media creation tool and from that tool you need to make ISO for yourself. So this is the tool. Now if you already got ISO files for all the operating systems, you can skip this step of downloading all the ISO files and just head over to the next one. Here we will create installation media that is ISO file. So for that select the ISO file option then click on next. Select the location where you want to save the file. That's it. While all the ISOs are being downloaded, you can like and share this video. Just to speed up the process, I have fast forwarded it and here you can see I got 4 ISO files of different operating system. Select all of your ISO files and cut them. Now simply locate the drive, multi-bootable drive that you have created and paste these files over here. Make sure this is your Ventoy drive. Once you load up all the ISOs in your Ventoy drive, now you simply need to restart your system. Now here you need to press your BIOS hotkey and you can see for my particular system my BIOS hotkey is delete or F2. Either delete or F2 you have to hit the keys for multiple times and once you get into the BIOS we are going to boot from our USB drive. To get into the boot menu my motherboard has a F8 key. You just have to look for your particular key and get into the boot menu. Over here you can see all of your storage options from which you can boot from. Here we are going to select our Ventoy drive. If you are confused which drive is that, there is a very easy way. You can eliminate all of your SATA drives from whatever remains. You can select the UEFI generic storage device. This is your Ventoy drive. Now if you got this error, make sure to enable secure boot in your BIOS. Doing that is pretty simple. Open up your BIOS and right into the boot menu. Here into the OS type, you can select the other OS option. Then save changes and reset. You can also enable the secure boot right into your Ventoy. Anyways, moving forward, here into your boot device selection, let's select our Ventoy device. Once you do that, you'll get option to install any of the OS. Over here, I got three ISO files, Windows 7, Windows 10, then Ubuntu. I'm going to select the Ubuntu, the first option. Now you can test any operating system, do the installation or do whatever you want. Let's say you need to boot from any other OS. Head over to your boot device selection, select the Ventoy device and here you can choose, let's say for example, we will choose Windows 10. There it is, the Windows 10 installer is booted up. Now there is a very important thing that you have to make sure. If your OS is not loading, it is giving you error, there is a very easy fix for that. Now older operating systems like Windows 7 supports legacy bootloader. So right below the UEFI generic storage device, there is a generic storage device which is our legacy storage option for the same Ventoy disk. So here I will select the generic storage device rather than the UEFI option. And now you can see your operating system should load up normally. Whether to choose UEFI or legacy bootloader, it's totally depending on the operating system itself. So you can simply Google it up. Modern operating systems usually use UEFI so you can try that. But if you are installing the older ones, you can go for the legacy. For Ubuntu, I got success with the legacy boot mode. So in conclusion, if you're getting any error, just need to try switching the boot mode. Ventoy is a really useful tool. Here you can see into the Ventoy menu, onto the bottom, if you need any help, you can press H. Pressing F2 will open up a browser if you want to take a glance at it. Also you got a tree view, also you got local boot and tools as well. For really old operating systems, those OS you got into your floppy disk, you can use the memdisk option. Then pressing F2, here you can see this is the Ventoy's browser, then this is the tree view. And this one is your local boot option. From here you can boot from your hard drive. Let's say you got installed windows in your hard drive. You can boot right from here. Going into the tools, you can see all the different options. You can see the hardware information. You can control the power state. You can set the keyboard layouts. Also check the resolutions of your system and set any display mode. Let's say your system doesn't have enough graphic memory. You can force this text mode. 
You can even put your custom theme onto your Venn toy. I hope you found this video informational. Do let me know if you have managed to create multi bootable USB drive. If you are facing any problem, do let me know in the comments down below as well. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel, and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.